Hello students. Now we are going to discuss about the movement of force. So movement means it is the product of force applied and its perpendicular distance so let us define the movement first it is the product of force applied and its perpendicular distance. So, movement can be defined as it is the product of force applied and its perpendicular distance. So, let us see the movement with the help of a simple diagram. So, let us take a force F is acting on a body. Let this point is O and its perpendicular distance is let us say D. Now, the moment M with respect to the point O is equal to force applied into its perpendicular distance D. We know force unit is Newton, distance unit is meter. So, the units for the moment are Newton meters. Now, in this case, because of application of this force, so it will rotate in clockwise. So the body will rotate in clockwise. So we say this as a clockwise movement. So clockwise movement we are taking as a positive sign and we solve the problem. Now the second type of the movement is anticlockwise movement. So let us see the anticlockwise movement. Let a force F applied in the upward direction. Let us say its distance is D, perpendicular distance is D. Then the body will move in the upward direction. So it creates a anti clockwise movement or counter clockwise movement. Now the movement with respect to O is equal to force into its perpendicular distance D and anti clockwise movement will take as a negative. Now the units are same Newton meter and it is a counter clockwise movement or anti clockwise movement. So, these are the two types of movements are available, and this is the movement of the force. We are talking about movement of now coming to its applications movement applications. So, movement is useful to protect any body. What is the purpose of movement? The application of movement or the purpose of movement, movement is to rotate 
is to rotate any object. Now let us take some example problems and moments. Problem is determine moments at all points for the figure shown below. So the given diagram is so this is the given problem. Let us calculate moments at all points. Let us solve this problem. Now, so first let us calculate moment of the force at point A. So we know moment equal force into perpendicular distance. So there is a force 10 newtons into its perpendicular distance is 2. So 10 into 2 that is 20 newton meter and it is a club so it is a clockwise moment now similarly at point b the force is 10 newtons into the perpendicular distance of this force from b is zero because the force and point b both are in the same line the perpendicular distance is 0. So, the total moment will be 0 Newton meter and these are the answers. Determine moments Movement of force at all points for the figure given below. Now the diagram is given. So this point given as A, this length 2 meter and this is point B, its length is 5 meter. Its length is 2 meter given and its length is 3 meter. Then there is a force at uh, point C acting vertically downward and that force is 30 newtons. Now its length is 1 meter, this point is. Now the question is, he is asking to determine movement of force at all points for the given diagram. So let us solve this problem. Now, first let us calculate moment at point A. 
Now there is a force 30 Newton into its perpendicular distance. Perpendicular distance of this force from this point A. This distance is 3. So 30 into 3 that is 90 Newton meter and with respect to A it will create a clockwise moment. Now let us calculate moment at B that is 30 into its perpendicular distance 3 90 Newton meter clockwise then moment at point C that is 30 into the perpendicular distance from this force to C is 0 so it will create a 0 Newton meter then moment at D 30 into perpendicular distance 0 so here also the moment is 0 Newton meter.